Hello. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Hello. I'm Michael. Okay. I'm a pharmacy technician from uh -huh. Abuja, Nigeria. I'm Ahlam. I'm a university student from Marrakesh in Morocco. What are you studying? Uh, English degree. English? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm Mary, a retired teacher from Nairobi, Kenya. My name is Louis. Uh, I'm the CFO of a mining company in South Africa. I've got three girls mm -hmm. and uh, all my daughters, you know, they're learning to cook from me. Oh, that's really yeah. nice. Daddy's girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand we're here to talk about hepatitis. I lost my grandma mm. in 2012, mm. but uh -huh. nobody knew that it was hepatitis C. She feels some symptoms of malaria, cold, and headache. And the doctor, yeah, there's nothing like laboratory uh -huh. which can be tested to know the condition. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the doctor told us it's a malaria and typhoid. Then I took her to a government hospital, uh -huh. which they, they had conducted a lot of tests. Mm -hmm. And I noticed this, uh, identified that it's hepatitis C. But then it's already damaged her. Advanced. Liver, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they managed her for like some months. She gave up. And she passed okay. on. She passed on, yeah. yeah. Mine was a bit tricky because I was coming from work and oh. I was taking a call. Yeah. So we were chatting with my sister. Then immediately I felt like I am going to faint. I don't have the strength. Really? When I woke up, I was like, why am I? I am on the, at the Lord side. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's serious. So, I went to the hospital the following day. Yeah. That's the time I was disclosed. You know what? You have hepatitis B. You have hepatitis? Yes, I was told that I had hepatitis. Mm -hmm. I feared I might become more sick. It's very rare that you mm -hmm. hear about, yeah, about it. it. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about it? No, I've never heard about yeah. it. You have mm -hmm. never heard about hepatitis? About hepatitis, no. Uh, and unfortunately, my sister passed on two years ago. Also from? Hepatitis. So I have some symptoms that pain my uh -huh. right side and uh, my joints. I was shivering after the testing. And my results came back positive with hepatitis C. How did you feel? I was, I was the cause. I was yeah. scared and sick. Yeah. I told the doctor, this is what I heard. Oh, that means I'm, I'm gone. He said <laughs> no. Yeah, you must have been scared. Yes, yeah, I was scared. So how long have you had it now? It's my 14 years. And 14? 14 years. People feel it's a death sentence. Right. It's not. It's not. Yeah. Clearly. You it's can not. get Clearly this. It's not, not okay. a death sentence. When you get hepatitis, it cannot be seen. You just need to go and be tested. My advice for people, uh, they should know their status. Your family, your community, mm. make sure they are tested. 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 Mm. Okay. There was this woman who got pregnant, uh -huh. and she had hepatitis B. And and the child? When the, she gave birth, the child was vaccinated, huh? and the child oh, is okay. healthy. I've traveled all over Africa. Why haven't I heard of hepatitis? What are we doing to proactively fight it? I'm going to visit my healthcare provider and definitely get tested. Because I got tested, I can now watch my grandchildren grow up. I got tested and now I can live a normal healthy life. It's a test every African deserves.